Okay, let me resize this to be right. Make sure that this is going. Cool, 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 cool. It's coming through. I'm announced, welcome. Hey, do you, do you want to be a mod? Completely up to you, let me know. Um, you and uh, the other fellows in the Discord are usually here. Um, so if you'd like to be, let me know. If not, no worries at all. Um, okay. So I just uploaded, I don't, I don't want to come off like, I don't know. I just uploaded, um, all right, I got you. Appreciate that. Let me get you on here. Uh, can manage block words and change, uh, modes in life. All right. You're getting a managing moderator. Congratulations. Um, since you are a managing moderator, let me, uh, let me hook you up really quick. I don't know how to use this. Um, I'll send you these, I'll send you these, uh, racks I'm working on right now in exchange for your service. Um, okay, so these racks, I mean, you'll get them because since you're a mod, um, but these are going to be audio effect racks. I'm not sure, I don't think it was you, I think it was Perp who said that he was working on using the Ableton effect racks, but for example, um, this is one that I just made today and it's a rack within a rack um, type thing. Um, so if we listen to it just by itself, it sounds like this. But if we turn on the rack, So you get some cool effects out of it. Um, I did five for this, like I called it phase one. Um, so because of that, we have, uh, obviously we have five um, and I grouped them together. Um, where, what happened to my group? What? Oh, there they are. Oh, I must have deleted the folder on accident. Group of folder. Okay, I guess I just had to make a new one. Wait, what? What's going on right now? Where did I just make all of these? I know I just, uh, I could have sworn I was in the, um, And the audio effect racks. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, okay, I don't know how it got messed up, but uh, okay, so for example, um, here's a saw wave. Here's with uh, the add grit rack. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this. Well, actually, I like this pattern. I'm just gonna put this aside for real quick. Um, I made this kind of easy rack or uh, base. It's just uh, with some of the massive wave tables. <coughs> Sounds pretty bad as it is, but if we had the add grit.
Got some reverb thrown in there. We have the gain, the grit. Um, some noise. And it reacts to the signal. And then whip. Um, some phasing, um, but it could be cool like if you want to phase it in while it's coming in into like a drop or something like that. Um, that's that one. The glitch man, uh, I revised the one that we've been using. Um, so it's going to sound a little bit different and we have a couple different parameters here that you can mess with. Do you get some cool effects with the glitch? Uh, Dizzy, welcome. Um, V3, welcome as well. Let's go. Everybody's in here. Uh, we just need perp and uh, perp and perp and Darwin, is it? Or are they the same person? Who's Darwin? There's a couple of bots you can add Discord to tell members you're live. Okay, well, I don't know how to do that, but. All right, so I'm just going over some racks I uploaded to Patreon. Um, I'll honestly, I'll make a video going through them um, and I'll just unlist it and put it in the Discord. That way you guys can copy them if you want. So if you can copy, if you want to copy, I'll put it in the Discord unlisted. And if you are uh, if you don't want to copy, you can do the Patreon. Uh, okay, you're Darwin. Okay, we are missing, are we just missing one person? We're just missing perp uh, out of the people in the uh, stream or a couple. Anyways, okay, so that one's the... That one's a glitch. We have this fat plunk. Uh, so again, without, with. Um, this one I put in the corpus. Probably not Darwin too. Got you. Um, so this one has a tune. So you can kind of find a sweet spot for it if you want it to make like a harmonic with it instead of it just be exactly the same. Um, and then we have the vowel. Find in some presence or some type of like wah sound. I'm um, reverb. And then if the synth is too quiet, you have a gain knob. This is a um, utility, not a distortion. So you can have, um, you can actually have uh, more volume without it getting too crazy. And then lastly, we just have this one. This one's pretty heavy. I called it Teep. Um, can I show some racks too? Yeah, I can. Um, this one I like because it makes a ton difference. So we'll actually, let's dive into this one um, so you guys can see what's going on. So this rack is just a little message to everybody and you can, you have to rename it if you wanna see the whole thing. But um, okay, so like what processing you are doing so other people can make one. Yeah, I got you. Okay, so I'll go over one of these. Um, so how I have this set up is, uh, I'll, let's just open everything. I may have to leave a little bit, but if you're still streaming later, I'll definitely, yeah, I got you. No worries. Don't feel like you have to be here. You can always watch it back. And I just posted on the community page. If you ever watch it back and you have um, questions, just comment and I respond to just about everything. Unless it's something dumb, then I don't. Okay, so how this is set up is you basically you tackle um, audio effect racks how you want to get them to or buy what you want them to do. So for here, the sound that we were starting off with is missing high end. So high end is something I dialed in. We're just using overdrive. Um, we have the, oh, I thought I actually made a dry wet for it. Okay, so I didn't, but um, I guess you can always go in here and change that if you'd like. But um, basically the overdrive is just introducing some high end, um, it, just some crunch. Instead of OTT, I wanted to use multi-band compression just to keep everything in line without boosting everything too much. We are taking a little bit of the low end down because it was getting too distorted with the rest of this, which is what um, um, audio effects will do to a low end. They'll kind of make it muddy. You can bring it back with OTT um, and go from there, but that's just kind of how I wanted to establish it. So we're boosting everything in to get some um, volume. We're bringing the sub down and um, this is just basically compressing everything to make sure everything is in line. Um, not necessarily OTT where it's really uh, 
destroying the sound, destroying the signal, flattening it kind of. Um, but this one is a little bit less of a take. And if you don't like how much this is, you do have an amount volume. Um, I think it sounds pretty cool as it is, especially for this aggressive of a genre. Um, we have an amp. We just have a little bit, a uh, tiny bit of the amp. We're using the blues preset. Um, basically, I don't think I messed with any of these nor the volume, but I did change the output from mono to dual. Um, you just want to do that. That way it's coming out stereo still and not just one side, because if you do, <laughs> it does kind of um, shrink it to the middle. Um, so that's just adding a little bit more distortion apart from using saturator or um, OTT, or if you're boosting the compressor or something like that, um, it, it's giving a little bit better of, or a different of a actual um, distortion sound. Um, OTT, we are using it, of course. Um, this is just to kind of make sure all of our levels are good. We're bringing back some of the bass to make it crunch. Um, we are bringing some of those mids up as well to make sure that they're present, as well as some high end for the crispness. Um, when you're messing with OTT, you do want to uh, adjust the attack and the release. Even though you can uh, adjust the band and do something similar, sometimes you can only pull it so far to where it's making a difference. So you do want to mess with um, the attack and release, basically. The attack is going to um, tell the OTT how fast to respond, and the release is basically going to tell or let go of the frequencies. But if you mess with the release, that's basically like a, almost like a volume knob for the actual frequencies in here. So if we turn it all the way up, and then we turn it all the way down, you can see the high end uh, starts to like go up pretty high. So we kind of have it in the middle there. Um, we're using Zavocoder. Zavocoder. <laughs> This is more so for formants, and you can mess with the dry wet here. I like to use this because it adds like a, a darker harmonic to the sound uh, versus the sound sounding so bright all the time. I like to just do that just for the genre, um, but this can definitely be uh, toggled on and off. Or you could even do the dry wet lower or higher. I kind of like that. You can explain everything in depth like NASCO. Um, hopefully I'm doing a pretty decent. You can't explain everything in depth like NASCO. Is that a question or is it like a statement? Because there's a little bit um, different. Hopefully I'm explaining everything good for, as is. Um, yeah, so vocoder, I'm just adding some of the kind of format, lower harmonics for it. Delay, I'm using this instead of using something like the Dimension Expander, which is an aftermarket plugin, even though it's free, um, some people might not have it. Um, I think it is a little bit harder to find, um, but all it is is basically it's it's duplicating the signal, painting it left and right. Um, so instead of using the Dimension Expander, which again, it's not a paid plugin, but if you don't have it, I'm using the Delay. It's basically doing the same thing. We're adding some stereo width. So without it and with it, you probably won't be able to hear that on the stream too much since it's a mono, but um, it does basically um, give you uh, two stereo field, or not two stereo fields, but it makes the uh, signal a little bit more stereo. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. Um, it makes it a little bit more stereo um, to where you won't have to, like if your sound is super, super mono, like if you just have like a saw wave in here, it makes it a little bit wider um, and a little bit more encouraging to continue working on the sound. Um, OTT, again, this is just to crunch the sound. Um, this one isn't doing as much as the first one is doing, but it is adding to it. Um, I like that kind of like um, amp sound where it's kind of like a little bit distorted. It has like kind of like a redux sound to it. So I wanted to enhance that a little bit. And then we are using another overdrive and this overdrive is tied to an envelope follower. So when your sound is playing, you can see the envelope follower is engaging with the signal and it's boosting the overdrive to boost the high end a little bit more. So this one is responsive. Um, it's also going to give a little bit more crispness without uh, making the sound like too overblown with high end towards just adding it even if the signal is really, really low. So envelope follower is a cool um, tip to use there. And that's the whole rack. Um, the other ones are built similarly to this, but since they are behind, like kind of behind a paywall, I don't want to um, like give everything away. Um, but that's how that one is uh, built. And... Um, if you want to establish like some type of audio effect rack, what you can do is you can take your favorite effects. Um, and this is how I do it. It's just uh, going to be dependent on what you like. So, uh, for example, we can build one from scratch. Um, if OTT is your favorite, um, let's say OTT is your favorite. Let's just call it distortion, even though it's more of like a compression. Let's just call it distortion. And let's say chorus is your favorite effect. You could do something like this. Let, and uh, obviously that's not a great starting point. Um, let's go to Hibusis quite a bit. OK, 
kind of get like a um, low quality. So let's say these are your two effects. How can you enhance or use these effects to enhance each other or rather use um, the OTT to enhance the chorus? So what you could do is uh, maybe you really like OTT, you can boost it. Do you ever mess with the chain selector when making racks? Um, I do a little bit. I don't like to uh, most of the time because uh, I'm not going to dive in here. So if we do do a separate one, do do a separate one. Yes, please. Um, and we got to do it like that, right? Most of the time I would do something like this, which is probably what you would do as well, I'd imagine. Um, and then I would do a, um, say, just a rack. So I'd probably do something like this where I would um, have it uh, have a dry signal. And then I would have it be able to be toggled over to the um, wet signal. Um, where's my map button? Why am I tripping right now? Oh, there it is. Um, oops, I did it backwards. So probably something like that to where you could automate the actual chain selector in. Something like that, but um, that's that would be kind of like the extent to what I would use it for. Um, otherwise, I'd probably just duplicate the sound and um, uh, and affect it differently. Um, but back to the rack. So if you, if course is your favorite, maybe do OTT. Um, if you want to enhance a little bit more, you could always do double. Never feel bad about doubling. Um, about doubling racks. Um, there's really no rules in music making as long as it sounds good, or at least to you. Um, I think that's what matters. So you're getting like a little bit more of the frequencies out. Let's bring a release down. So now you're kind of missing some high end. Um, we could use erosion or we, excuse me, you could use erosion or overdrive for this. Let's try erosion. And then again, we could use that envelope follower in order to engage the erosion appropriately. Um, so we just map the envelope follower to the actual amount. And then you can kind of dial in how much you want that to react. Bring back some of that. And then um, let's say you're pretty happy with how it sounds now, maybe just a saturator to kind of end it off. Learn the rules uh, to break them. Um, I haven't personally heard that, but I've also been kind of in the mindset that a lot of the people that, what is going on with the saturator here? A lot of the people that I like um, that make electronic music, what's going on? Can I not push this to the end? There it is. A lot of the people that I like that do electronic music sound like no other person. And those other people that are popular, um, they probably do do things um, kind of traditionally. Um, so I'm more of like, I like the untraditional side of, of electronic music, whereas a lot of craziness goes on. Um, so we might add some saturator. We can try uh, changing the distortion. You also have the wave shaper down here, which is really cool because you can open it up and you can adjust what kind you want. Like you can make your own wave. which is pretty cool. Um, so I would build like something like that. You pick your favorite effect and then you figure out how you can enhance that effect. So um, without it, you might have something that sounds like this. And with it, you have something that sounds pretty decent. Um, so I'll even save this one. Um, save and we'll call it live stream one. And let's get in here and uh, let's just pop this into the into the uh, Discord. So there's that for you guys. Um, but uh, that is kind of where where I would start. So you get something like that. So hopefully that's useful for you guys um, in terms of that. Um, uh, and I think I explained everything pretty decently about kind of what everything does and how I would go about doing it. Of course, that's just me. I'm not like, a, I know some things, but I don't know like a, like everything, obviously, but um, that's kind of my extent how I'd go about doing things.
Uh, <clears throat> but um, yeah, so I think what I want to try today is I want to try, I don't know what we want to call them, but I want to try basically like eight bar loops and see if we can come up with like cool ideas. So um, today, I think I want to start sound designing first. Um, I don't know if I went over the patch before that we were using. If you think it sounds cool, it's just some of the massive wavetables. Um, nothing special. It's more of like a um, like an idea. Um, but what is cool is, I don't know if you guys ever think of this, but to make the kind of initial bite of the sound, you can always do um, kind of more of a choppy type thing to give it a little bit more texture versus just like starting. Um, it gives it kind of like a different feel, um, a little bit more impact, I would say, for the transient. Um, but let's go ahead, and I'm not going to save that. Let's go ahead and um, try to make a cool bass, and then we'll go from there. So let's pop in. Let's try Vital today um, versus Serum. Um, I'm not too familiar with how things work in here, but I know that there were some cool um, wavetables that I found one time when I was, was using it. And I'm not super, super familiar with how to use it. Let's see, so my LFO is here, and I could drag that here. And I want that to go backwards. Um. like that and then that's not my these are my so like that possibly and can't you use like multiple fms or something here i don't recall honestly um let's use a second oscillator for fm uh, maybe we actually want to bend this one um maybe we want to do it more i don't i like vinyl because it's free um but i don't know if i would buy it if it wasn't free um let's try using a different one here oops so that's kind of cool And then maybe we want it to kind of dance around a little bit. Um, how do you make, there it is. Maybe we want it to have like a little like choppy rhythm a little bit. Uh, it seems to be a little bit finicky. something like this and bend it a little bit and then maybe I I want to do another one here just give it a little more movement um, and then uh, maybe try some effects here. That's kind of cool, actually. See what kind of distortion we have in here. Uh, 
Let's see, how would I switch this? Something like that, possibly. And I don't recall there being a sub oscillator. Um, if I if there is, I'm not sure where it is, but we can just do just do this, and then we'll just go for a. Vital is hieroglyphics to me. Yeah, I don't quite understand how it works. So this should be... Oh, uh, because this should be just going directly out and it's going to the effects, that's why. There we go. That's kind of cool, no? Maybe we want to do like a um, some type of filter automation. Not sure why we're getting the I don't have shaper box that's um sound I mean cable guys plug in or am I tripping all right this is cool I think this is gonna be our our base I don't know what's going on with vital No answer on my question, I guess. Something like that, possibly. I like the 
split right there. This one doesn't quite work. Maybe backwards is the move. These are probably warped in beats, huh? Should change that. That sounds kind of cool, no? Obviously, there's no processing or anything on it, so we can make some cool variations here. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, um, I'm just going to make a new track and let's use the new glitch chain, patent pending. And then I'm just going to, let's see. And then we could take this a step further as well. Um, let's go ahead and freeze this. And the reason I did this this time is because I want to um, I want to be able to affect the things at the same like point in their sound design. So that way we're not uh, messing with things that are really loud or really quiet, X, Y, Z. That's probably gonna actually, I'll have to do it in a second here. And then we'll just drag it like we usually do. And we'll um, kind of sweep in between to figure out what we can do. I think we, I want to do like a pitch down here. Let's do texture again. Texture just gives you like the most granular um, feedback. Um, usually pitches down or what is good. Put my mini neural rack with a new glitch rack. Might get some cool sounds. CPU will yell at you though. Yeah, I met, you were here yesterday when my computer completely died, right? It just uh, turned off <laughs> midstream. Um, no, you weren't. I think it was just perp. Yeah, it, I tried to load the reverb module from Kilohertz and it just, computer just completely turned off. I was like, all right, how... How can this not? This is almost a completely maxed out um, Mac Studio. And I was like, how did it just turn off? Let's try this, though. Yeah, I, I figured that out. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, I'll take, uh, let's try a different one. Glitch. This is the old one. Oh, let's try the old one. Let's 
What do we think about that? Some cool variations. You know what? This could be a cool, uh, this, you know what I'm doing right now? <sighs> this could be like a cool, I'll use your reverb throw one as well. redo that reverb with OTBH. Um, honestly, it does what it needs to do. Uh, mine is set up... Uh, let's see. Mine isn't set up with a delay, utility, or saturator. It's literally just a reverb and an EQ. Um, that's all you need to do. But I'm using this one to show love. Okay, so what I'm doing this for is if we do a little... I'm gonna put on my new rack. That's cool. Um, let's do. I want to mess, keep messing with thermal. I kept also all the audio effect racks 100% stock. I don't know if I said that already, um, but I, I do use a lot of. Um, third party plugins. And by a lot, I mean like I use a lot of the same ones.
No, go way down. Get some side chain in here real quick. Kind of establish a pattern. Uh, it would probably be wise if I side chained it, huh? some tops first. To get... I hate everything you stand for and everything that you are. Um, to get like a... Ooh. To get an actual pattern going because it's too hard to do it backwards, I think. Or to do it kick and snare first because I want a good flow. And then let's get the side chain engaged as well. So we can kind of feel excuse me, what this is doing. Let's see. Grab each uh, EQ. <laughs> Okay, something like that, and then uh, we need like a swing hat and a fill. Um, swing? I guess we could always just dial one in. Do I have any samples? Let's see, maybe if we go on splice. Swing. Swing, and if we did tear out, would we actually get anything?
possibly. And then let's try, I think this one has some cool fills in it, if I remember correctly. Fills. I lied. I apologize. Um, we looked in that one yesterday and I didn't really see anything. Okay, I think we're just going to have to start resorting to using the same fills and just try to make them sound different. How are none of these virtual right fills? Even though I typed in virtual right. Uh, might be. The ivory sample pack is really good. Is it, that's the rhythm one, right? Wait, is it on Splice? It should be on Splice. I didn't see it. It didn't come up. shape these by hand. And then we'll just uh, full parallel it. I don't see the ivory. Um, it's so lame how you could literally type in virtual right fill and it doesn't come up. But whatever. Oh, that's fine. Probably do something like this. That's not any better. Okay. Okay, and then we need like a fill. Just gonna use this for some like top end.
Does it need to go faster or slower? this to sound more like a hat instead what app are you using um if you're talking about the program this is ableton um and also welcome to the stream days we're going to click tear out dubs up and something so cool is going to come up and uh it'll be justified to keep using splice but right now splice is not giving us the best results which tear out didn't even come up for that one so that's not good tear out what just happened want the transits to be like a little more dominant though. Let's get some drums in here. Um, uh, these ones had cool samples, didn't they? That might be kind of cool. Might be a little too aggressive. Probably we'll do the swing that we usually do. It just sounds good, honestly. So why not? Okay, that's 
snare. I like that for maybe a tonality layer. How is that? Oh, I thought I selected drums. That one's kind of cool. This, these both feel like layers still. I don't like the tonality this is coming with. I think we'll do a cymbal loop. Simple that snail and save it. The snail, the snare. Does it sound pretty decent? Oops. You're welcome. Um, hey, uh, Unbeknownst, are you allowed to post the Discord invite or only I'm allowed to do the Discord invite? The link? <laughs> they do need to be glued together, so I think I will just use a sample. I just don't want to change my mind. Should be able to, okay. Let me know if not, no biggie. Thank you. Thank you very much. I need to remember to do that since it says pin comment. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay.
I think it, it kind of ends, or the second synth part starts abruptly. <laughs> everything you stand do not betray me i need you to question everything you have ever done in your life i will find you i won't break you in why would you do that you want to explain that to me you want to explain that to me you want to explain that to me You want to explain that to me? 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 Explain that to me. You want to explain that to me? 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 Please listen right, just as I planned. Are you mad? Breakfast! Check it out. Check this out. Check this out. Is kind of sick. Maybe we do like a. I didn't need me to do that, but I guess that's fine. And we'll just chop off a little bit. Reverse. An auto pan at one third rate on the bass may sound cool after that drop vocal, or even at uh, an auto pan at a third rate on the bass may sound cool after that. After that pre drop vocal, or even as a drop B, uh, a third bass.
That bass sounds very er uh, <laughs> that sounds very rid of me. Low key, that might be a cool pattern to follow. I probably wouldn't do it with an auto pan, but I a, a third, pa uh, yeah, third pattern could sound cool. Um, okay, well, this actually turned out more or better than I expected it to. Um, I don't want a sixteen bar drop for this one. I only want like an eight. Um, so let's do twenty four in. So build um so we gotta make a pattern um <laughs> We don't need to do it like that, so. That could be the variation. Uh, for the second part, make it a little more interesting. Actually, let's just filter it and just have it on for the melodic parts. And then for the drop, we'll bring back that kind of buzz. Thank you. 
so that's actually just going to be a drop base. So we'll use the second one, a different one, not a second one. Okay, so since I didn't want to do that, but whatever. Um, so uh, I guess we can just keep that in the base one. No, we won't because of mastering reasons. Sub, sweeps. <laughs> All right, so cancel this out and do this. Frequency, uh, let's just start from scratch. And uh, I think Pigments has a cool bass that I'm thinking of. It's kind of like a donk bass. Or not a donk bass, but it just has like a nice thump at the beginning. Um, angry Picker. That could do it with some OTT. In the meantime, huh? Did you hear her? <laughs> that one probably has enough uh, negative tonality. I love that bass. Okay, we'll rock with it then. That's one too many. Perp, what's up? Thanks for joining. This can be clicky. But it cannot be, it cannot handle the bass side of things it needs to be uh, excuse me it needs to be just high end because that bass is not going to cut it not going to cut it for this production for my level of production there's one in here So I'll just do it manually. Um, honestly, I was just looking for a little like a, like kind of a donk, but it'd probably be smarter just to have a, a sub. Um, Handle the low end. And Perp, I saw your message. What's up? I thought I'm going to respond to you. That's why I didn't say anything. But just working on the track. What's up? I think it'd be cool if it went. It's kind of off. Uh, 
Okay, so hear me out. What I'm thinking here is we do we do the signature. We copy this. Um, we can take this guy, this guy, this guy. Stretch it out. This guy, this guy, this guy. No, not that guy. Whatever, we're just making all these long. The mad scientist type vocal. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be fire. Or like a inspirational quote of some kind. <laughs> Not a fan of Rick and Morty. I never could get into that show. Nice. Would there be uh It's the freestyle scientist. No. So just there's no vocal. Did I just miss it maybe? Yeah, there's got to be none. Let me see what we pray to thee, our God. You are here. If there's one thing I know for sure, it's that I know nothing. None of these are going to be cool, I don't think. Fire. Automatic. None. Did you not hear the speech I made? Did you not hear me exp- Did you not hear the speech? Okay, we need to actually finish the- Um, I don't like to do just a couple bars because it messes me up. Um, where is that reverse? Did I delete it? No, I put in the effects, didn't I? There it is.
that's why. And then we could probably do something like copying this and doing this. Uh, that might be a little bit too much frequency, honestly. Almost sounds like an alarm of some sort. Let's grab a shifter and I just do the fine. That's crazy that uh, it's super loud in the beginning, but not in the drop. I think we're, we have a pretty good foundation here. Um, I think we do need to introduce some brass or some strings of some kind. Um, let's try the augmented brass one. Um, a siren of some sort might be beneficial. I agree. I think a siren for the uh, buildup would be cool. get this brass um, kind of preset I made. I need to get a new mouse, man. to kind of tie things in. Let's get the uh, transition, the signature. Uh, we need an 
impact. And since we are doing eight bars, um, everything should work. So we can kind of go crazy on layering. So this one sucks. What's your go-to BPM? Usually 150. I've been keeping my uh, session between 140 and 145 um, every time we've streamed, though. 150 I like, but I'm kind of like out of the rhythm phase like I was a few months ago. So the kind of slower and uh, kind of more mellow BPM, even though it's only 5 BPM slower, is a little bit nicer to add a little more variation in between kicks and snares. Um, so kind of there. What about you? What about you guys? Okay. Build. Might just actually do this one and then we'll just speed it up here. Hi Capri, this is DJ. Thank you. All right, I think that is going to be fine for um for a riser. I'm going to take this per usual though, just because it gets going so quick. Okay, this needs to be tighter, otherwise it just sounds wrong. Um, let's do that and then I think that's going to mess up all the... Yeah, it is. You guys ever duplicate your shifters like this? It can be a cool um, tip if you don't want to uh, make as big of adjustment for the course. You can just duplicate the fines. because of the shifters that's why it's going to start sounding off that's all right though um for me i usually go 150 although i don't mind going down to 90 i don't know if i've ever made a track in 90 or below 100 honestly you like 110 like glitch hop has always been something i can never have never been able to do but i also don't listen to the genre at all so that may be why <laughs> all right we need a big impact <laughs> Just like that. Perfect. 
Um, let's throw this in our base. We need a sub drop actually, so let's put this in our effects. And um, let's do a sub drop. We could do this in operator if we wanted to. Uh, I don't. <laughs> so I just grab one that I already have. Tones, pitch it up. <laughs> Honestly, this sounds pretty cool so far. Check this out. Check this out. say thank you man you've helped me find what i'm missing in buildups uh no problem it's all pretty simple stuff um once you kind of um know what you're looking for Check this out. come on come on come on um i'm sure we've kind of just scratched the surface too um of your learning come on come on So fun. Disciple. Um, 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 because this is typical, I would say. 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 Because this is. That sounds a bit weird. 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 Do you use a house effect on vocals? Um, no. Sounds a bit weird. Um, doesn't the house effect mess with phasing? Wait. Um, doesn't that mess with phasing? That sounds a bit weird. That's basically what the delay is. Um. That sounds a bit weird. That sounds a bit weird. That sounds about right. To my ears, that doesn't sound too bad. To my ears, that doesn't sound too, too bad. To my ears, that doesn't sound too bad. Bad. To my ears, that doesn't sound too bad. To my ears, that doesn't sound too bad. To my ears, that doesn't sound too bad. Okay, then no, I don't. To my ears, that doesn't sound too bad. Does Dave Tune have auto-tune plugins for vocals? No, they do, it does not. A vocoder would be your best bet, but you have to do that all... Uh, yoink! 
all by hand. So, no. <gasps> Excuse me again. Get the fuck Get out! No! Yeah, if Ableton had auto tune, Ableton would literally have everything. Once I get 12, probably maybe next check. To my ears, that doesn't sound too bad. Uh, once I get Ableton, um, 12. We're gonna to try to sound design with the new plugins in there too. Honestly, probably not three. Um, yeah, I am enjoying the vocal pa pack just because it's different from what's on Splice. Um, so don't give yourself too much credit. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's cool. Probably a little bit of rev. Um, let's listen to everything together so far. Probably need an impact um, here as well. And a transition here as well. Um, a sharp one. Honestly, this, like, we've spent, what, an hour maybe on this track after, well, I don't know, how long did we talk about the, uh, what's it called? The audio fuck racks. But we haven't really spent that long on a track, uh, time on this track, and um, we made pretty good progress. So with that being said, we are so back. Um, with this being said, I need to pee pretty badly. So what I'm going to do that I haven't done, uh, and I apologize, is I'm going to um, do be right back and i'm also going to um run an ad so uh good luck
Okay, small potty break. Um, did that play an ad when I clicked that or no? Uh, because uh, I was told I should do that, um, which I guess I should, but whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so how are we liking everything so far? Do we think what we've made so far sounds pretty complete? Um, uh, does that sound pretty complete as well? Nice. And welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. My, uh, never mind. I'm not actually, whatever. I, uh, it's actually crazy because when I'm like sitting down making music, I don't think about it very much. But like when I'm at work, like I have to pee so often, like, like an, at least once an hour. Not for you. Not for me. What not for you? What does that mean? <laughs> I think what we could do is, um, I used this vocal before, wait, what is her name? Um, Alice, oh, the ad didn't play for you, gotcha. Why don't you notice? Um, I've used this vocal before, but I think if I just use a C sharp D, D sharp E, a small. Why don't you notice? Why don't you notice? Why don't you notice? This. Why don't you notice? Why don't you notice? Maybe just four times. Would that be too much? I wonder if it only plays the ad then for um, if you've been watching for a certain duration, maybe it delays it. Why don't you notice? Why don't you I don't necessarily want to uh, use it all because I've already used it before. Um, that's actually so funny that that's when you get ads. sucks about chopping things up 
beforehand is uh, you kind of have to go back through and redo it all. Um, so probably best not to do that to save time because like right now I could already be moving on, but a small price to pray for humanity or whatever he says. All right, let's go. So let's stretch these. So that would be thirds. Wait a second. Hello? That, yeah, reverb throws maybe, yeah. More of like a reverb throw, think of it as like an ending, like touch. Um, but I might be cooking a little bit right now. Right, so this one needs to be switched. This might be too fast. So since we did different here, we should copy it over to make it a little bit less 
and then this should just be the regular one not the one with the uh, rhythm on top <laughs> Okay, we rocking with that? I think we need a little bit more high end, but I could be tripping because of the speakers. Possibly a little bit, okay. To my ears, that doesn't sound too bad. This song sucks. <laughs> Get out! Here's what I really want. Hey! Hi, I'm Mr. Poopy Butthole from episode 204. How many of you have autism? <laughs> <laughs> no way. That's so far. Autism, uh, autism Awareness Month. Okay. How many of you have autism? 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 Oh, hoo wee! Feels better. Hoo wee! I, I can't be like. I don't care. I know the truth. Yeah, I hope y'all. Yo, I hope y'all. Nay, boo. I don't know what that means. Yo, I hope y'all. Yo, I hope y'all. I hope y'all. I hope y'all enjoy. I hope y'all enjoy this. I hope y'all enjoy this. I hope y'all. I hope y'all enjoy this. And I will mess you up. I'm dead serious. I'm dead. I'm getting really sick of you! Not Argo, bro? Is that from the movie, Argo? I'm in the dark! Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Like this. Listen up. Look at Mercy. Music. My raps are tighter than yours. My muscles are bigger. You ain't. No. 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 Oh boy. Now Sasquatch can play Halo 3. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I think we need a little bit of a 
First and foremost, volume's got to get brought down a little bit, partner. What are you doing, bro? Music? Yeah, I'm trying to make a song from scratch right now. Um, we've made this entire song in this stream. Um, so, like many people say, just noise for the most part, but I'm having a good time so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do not speak Turkish, no. I speak English, and at that I barely speak it. <laughs> Honestly, I think that sounds cool. Um, so, I think that's going to be where we wrap it up for the day. I know more, more people just joined. So, um, I'm going to play the track. No, we just played the track all the way through. So, I think everybody heard that. Um, I think this is where I'm going to call it. Just that way we don't like overproduce anything. Uh, since it's been roughly two hours. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you for joining. Um if it's pronounced Mervin or Mervon, um, there's a Discord above if you want to join it, if you use Discord. If you don't speak English very well, we can always use like translate and stuff. Um, we have a, a, a small group of people in there that are making music. So if you do want to join that, that's up there. Um, you're welcome to, of course. Um, but I think this is where we're going to call it. I think tomorrow we'll get on probably around the same time and um, continue this. I think what I will do though is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do this just so we have kind of a foundation to roll off of and then I'm going to uh, do this and we'll probably have our brass as kind of our layer here. We will Google Translate if you do if you do Turkish in there so like I said feel free to join. <laughs> Probably do something like this. Probably do like a... All right, appreciate it. All right, I'm a notes. Thanks for becoming a mod. Um, and I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. So everybody, thank you for stopping by. Um, Mervin, join the Discord. It's up there, um, if you would like. And with all this being said, thank you guys for checking out the stream. Um, it's I think it's been actually a pretty productive one. Be around probably the same time tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so we'll check back in tomorrow. And uh, oh, Darwin, I'm getting off right now, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, hop in the Discord though. I think they're about to start in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, you can back up if you want to see kind of what we did. But yeah, hop in the stream. I mean, hop in the Discord and uh, chat there. But 
Thank you guys.